Hi, my name is Mindy. I'm a nursing student at Angelus Institute. Welcome to our Sims Lab. Today I'll be showing you how to properly take blood pressure. The supplies you will need is a stethoscope and a spigmometer. Make sure prior to any procedure you wash your hands. Also check the cuff size. If the cuff size is too big or too small, it can alter the reading. There are things to consider before taking the blood pressure. Have you eaten? No. Have you had any coffee? No. Do you smoke? No. And are you sick or taking any cough medicine? No. Do not take blood pressure on an injured arm. Do not take blood pressure on an arm that has an IV therapy running. Determine the client's baseline blood pressure if available so you can make a comparison. Once all the considerations are taken, while the client is sitting, make sure the client's bared arm is resting on support to where the midpoint of the upper arm is at level of the heart. Extend the elbow with the palm facing upward. The bladder of the cuff should be completely deflated. Feel for the brachial artery located in the antecubital fossa, which is located in the inner arm where the bend of the elbow is. Once the artery is felt, you can apply the cuff. One inch above the antecubital fossa. Tight enough to where there is a two finger space. And the midline of the cuff should be lined up with the arterial pulsation. Relocate the brachial artery with your hand. Place the bell of the stethoscope over the brachial pulsation. With your hand, turn the valve of the cuff clockwise to close. Compress the pump to inflate the cuff rapidly till the dial of the manometer reaches about 160. If any heart complications, it will be safe to pump about 180 to 200. They might have a higher blood pressure reading. Once at 160, partially unscrew the valve counterclockwise to deflate the bladder at 2 millimeters per second while listening for the first sound. The sound is called the Kortokoff sound. The very first sound you hear is the systolic blood pressure. The last sound you will hear is the diastolic blood pressure. Once you get your reading, deflate the cuff rapidly and completely. Do not reinflate the cuff if you let the air out too fast. You need to deflate the cuff and restart all over again. Try not to take the blood pressure more than twice on one arm. Remove the cuff, inform the client of the reading, and wash your hands. Thank you so much for watching Angelus Institute Sims Lab. See you next time. Bye. Bye.